everybody says I go too aggressive on the intro, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. So let's let's get right into it. All right, what is up, YouTube? This is Jolo Two TV back with more for you see, and uh, nah, that's not right. What is up, YouTube? This is Jolo Two TV back with more for you to see, and yet again we're back with more videos, guys. So first and foremost, I went to New York as most of you guys know two weeks ago. For the loyal subscribers, of course they would know that. So without any further ado, let me show you guys some of the pickups that I got prior to New York, while in New York. And and a little bit after New York for my birthday, of course. So thanks for everybody that said happy birthday, by the way. You guys know who you are. So prior to going to New York, I wanted to get some sneakers that were very, very comfortable. But at the same time, I wanted it to be hype beast-ish. Now, I could have just worn my Yeezys and that could have been it. You know, comfort, hype beast, all that stuff. But at the same time, I wanted a pair of sneakers that everybody wished they had and they know they couldn't get it. So what did I get? Well, I'm glad you guys asked. We, of course, picked up a pair of these NMD triple black Japan edition prime knit edition <laughs> we of course picked up the NMD triple black Japanese edition now let me tell you guys I love these sneakers I love these sneakers more than any sneaker in my collection I'm lying to y'all because I have another pair of these but not the prime knit edition but uh, now I picked these up because they were stupid comfortable and another reason why I picked it up is because because when I bought the previous triple black edition NMDs they weren't that comfortable the reason why I say they weren't that comfortable is because this right here is very stiff and when you're moving your foot and everything like that it just it, it didn't feel good around the ankle area and on top of that I should have known better and got a half size up when it came to the mesh edition now when you get the prime knit edition because you have this flexibility look at that look at that butter but because of this flexibility and the the material that it's made out of it's a lot more comfortable trust me guys it's almost like a sock now when I went to the store to pick these up there was only 12 in stock and there was only one in my size so I I got very very lucky picking these up and I didn't see too many people wearing these when I was in New York especially when I was over there meeting Kais very shocked I didn't see one person wearing these so I felt pretty special that I had a sneaker that not everybody else was wearing in line especially being hype so next up as I was talking about before I went to go meet Kais Omar at his all of a sudden tour and man let me tell you something that junk was lit you got to meet Kais Omar you got to get some of his merch to rep him and I just thought it was a great experience and especially for me because I was able to film for his vlog. He linked me in the description. It was a great experience to film for somebody that actually inspired me to get into what I'm doing right here. If you guys didn't check it out, go check out the previous vlog where I filmed for Kais. I chilled with Kais the entire time of the pop-up, so amazing time. Thanks again, Kais, for the opportunity. But we're gonna go ahead and get into his merch. Now, the first thing that I saw going in there was this. This is the Hype Beast Champion hoodie. Now, this hoodie, the reason why I really loved it is because of the camo, first and foremost. I love camo. Another reason is because I am representing not only Kais, but the hype beast of the globe. So this was just a great representation of who I am and what I stand for in the sneaker culture. So pretty great piece of merch that I got right here. And on the front, you have Dream Crew right there in white also. Now let me tell you, the white really stands out on this camo. And that's what I love the most is that it's kind of like a high contrast off of that camo. And right there on the sleeve, you're going to see that it has a lightning bolt, that lightning mold just kind of makes that all tie together but overall this is one of the most fire hoodies that I have in my collection so you guys should definitely go on the tour if it's coming to the location near you I have one more piece from the all of a sudden tour so let's get right into it next up we also have a all of a sudden the tour hat now this dad hat is amazing the reason why is because he put that much effort into it by putting 3m on it and for those that don't know what 3m is 3m is actually a reflective surface so when you put a flash on it or you know like a light it reflects off it creates a bright flash so pretty dope stuff but on the front it says all of a sudden the tour and on the back once again I represent as a hype beast so it says hype beast right there on the back so pretty dope hat so that was it for all of a sudden the tour he's coming back to Orlando so I'm gonna go pick up the socks and probably some crep protect so support the brand I almost forgot I also picked up the gym shorts because you know I live out here in Florida and it's stupid hot so gym shorts is a definite must so I picked up the all of a sudden tour gym shorts now these right here are fire because i personally love champion shorts and he i don't know how he did it i don't know if he talked to champion or whatever but it ain't none of my business but he did like a nice little collaboration with champion 
and he got his branding on there saying Thor on this leg and then all of a sudden tore right there on the other leg in yellow writing so don't pick up really love these gym shorts can't wait to wear them all right so one thing I did tell myself is that when I was in New York I was gonna buy a pair of sneakers I didn't know at all what pair of sneakers I was gonna pick up but I just knew I needed to have a pair of sneakers when I went up there and the reason why and I'm gonna give you this reason and I think you guys are gonna think it's kind of crazy but I wanted a souvenir to bring back that was a pair of sneakers so that way every time I look at them I remember oh I picked these up from so-and-so I picked these up from New York I had this memory I remember doing this that day so of course I had to pick up these Adidas and Nikki's now let me tell you something I didn't like these at first the reason why I didn't like them is just because when I tried them on the first time and it was in an Adidas store I wasn't feeling them they weren't okay and I think I got them in the wrong size it wasn't until I put both of them on and started walking a little bit that I realized you know what maybe I do like these so I went ahead and picked these up first of all it looks like a classic model and then you got a boost sole on top of that so you're mixing old school with new school and it's just a good combination and personally I think these are like a skater shoe that's just what it looks like to me overall they were very comfortable in that day whatever shoes I was wearing which I think were my Yeezys I took them off and put these on because I would rather mess these up than to mess up my Yeezys so you know what Kanye says sometimes I'm in my Yeezys sometimes I'm in my Nikes but I picked these up and I know I'm a little late on picking these Nikes up but let me tell you guys a quick bit of advice when buying sneakers when you go to buy some sneakers and you're looking for comfort don't be wearing the sneakers that you're stupidly comfortable with at the time I was wearing Yeezys and when you go to put those Yeezys on and you were walking in them all day to go in to look at these and say oh man these aren't comfortable the reason why is because this is what you're doing you're comparing a Mercedes Benz to a Toyota Corolla you can't do that and the reason why it just you just should go in with some uncomfortable shoes so when you go to wear these they're more comfortable than the shoes you're wearing right now so that's just my bit of advice because I almost didn't pick these up because they weren't as comfortable as my Yeezys but I realized it's like comparing two different things so that's one bit of advice from me so anyways quick side note I just want to tell you guys that I really appreciate my viewers and the reason why I say that is because even when I'm gone for about a week you guys still support me you guys go on my snapchat which is Jolo 2 tv by the way <laughs> and you guys hit me up and you ask me where's the videos at we miss you blah 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 and I'm very happy that I have supporters like that are still looking out for me and everything like that and I'm very appreciative of you guys for still sticking with me no matter what I'm doing uh, because at the end of the day most of the people that do know me they know I'm very busy but as some of you guys know I was actually editing another video job so I had to get that taken care of and on top of that school just started so of course uploads are a little slow but again I'm never gonna make any excuses for why I don't upload some people forget that we also have lives outside of YouTube so uploads are not exactly gonna be daily every hour and yada yada because this is not my full-time job this is something I love to do so I really appreciate everybody that sticks by my side knowing that I am a very busy person and I still try to upload every time that I get a chance to so thank you for all the love and support and by the way guys we're almost to 1500 subscribers man the other day I was scraping by just to get a hundred subscribers and now we're almost to 1500 I'm so appreciative of all the fam and followers guys thank you so much anyways thanks for watching the video please be sure to like subscribe and comment and please be sure to share Jolo 2 TV hold on I gotta get the thumbnail real quick <laughs> out